For maximum improvement, I would recommend that you play at least 15 to 20 matches per week. Now, a lot of times players from out of state will come and I'll ask them, how many matches are you playing? And they're like, well, you know, if I lived in Ohio and I had all these players, it'd be easy to play them. But you see, I live in Virginia or I live in Minnesota or I live in Colorado and we only have a couple players our level, so I only play a couple matches per week. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you only have three people to play against. Play those three people, 15 to 20 matches per week for maximum benefit. This is critically important. And a lot of times people will say, yeah, but uh, you know, in tournaments I play different people. It doesn't matter. Unless you're beating them all 11-1, 11-0, 11-1, you should play more matches. You're still making mistakes. These guys are still getting five, six, seven, eight points a game against you. And you need to learn how to work through these problems. I get it. You understand their serves, or you understand their returns, or you understand their patterns, but you're still making mistakes and you still need to be able to work through it. See, in drills, what ends up happening is we isolate certain aspects of the game, but in match play, this is really our time to test everything, to test our serve and the residual spin coming off of the serve, to test different types of serve returns and the patterns that come afterwards. See, match play is a way of really expanding everything. Now, some players don't have the maturity to be able to actually focus and play 15 to 20 matches, so their coach says, well, we were gonna just have Billy play four matches a week because he loses focus. Okay, then you need to deal with the maturity factor, not decrease his match play. See, match play is critically important. Tournament play is critically important. Tournament results are critically important. And if you're gonna have great tournament results, then you need to be good at matches. And how are you gonna be good at matches? The number one way you can be good at matches is to play matches. That's, it seems like common sense, but across the country, most people don't play enough matches during the week. And it's not just going through the motion saying, okay, here I am against Billy again. I'm playing him for the third match today. No, you have to take a professional approach because regardless of whatever your goal is, whether it be to win the state championship or to win the over 60 at the US Open or to win the world championship, whatever, there's gonna be a very narrow pool of players that are fighting for that title. So let's say, for example, um, you wanna win the state championship and you're rated 2100. There may only be three other guys that are 21 or 22 or 2300 in the state. So you're gonna to have to get used to playing them, but beating people that you're comfortable with. If you're a world champion and you're in the top 10 in the world, there's not you know, a thousand other people that are going to be competing for that title. Realistically, you're gonna be having to focus against a smaller group of the other top players in the world. So regardless of what your title or what your goal is, you need to be able to do a good job playing matches against people that you know and that know you. Now, a lot of times people will say, it's easy for me to trick strangers because I have this tricky push here or I have this tricky shot here. It's hard for me to trick people that are comfortable with my game because they know my game. Actually, I find it to be almost the opposite. The people that know my game, that know that I usually loop my backhand here, or I usually flip my forehand here, or I usually block the ball here, it's actually easier to trick them because whatever my normal pattern is, I just do the opposite of what I normally do. If I normally flip forehand down the line, then I flip to the middle. Or if I normally counter loop cross court, I counter loop down the line. So whatever you normally do, if you mix it up and you change, it's actually sometimes easier to trick people that know you and you know them, as opposed to complete strangers that are completely neutral. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button right there at the bottom, and also turn on the bell so you can get notified of our videos that are coming every single week, free to you from the Samson Davina Table Tennis Academy. I'm Samson Davina, thanks for watching.